Hi, Naked Squirrel here. I'm going to give a quick tutorial on the KE50 Black Shark for DCS. This isn't going to be a super in-depth tutorial. I'm just going to try and give you the basics on how to take off and blow stuff up. Because, well, that's all we really care about anyways. So, let's go ahead and jump in the cockpit. Um, for startup, I'm just going to give you the quick keys. There's some videos on startup, but uh, for the sake of keeping this tutorial short, um, just go ahead and hit left windows and home for startup. And basically what that does is the computer will flip all the right switches for you and get everything ready to take off. Okay, now that we got our engine and computers on, go ahead and give you a tour. On, our, on my left I've got the throttle here, uh, collective, and above the collective is our targeting panel. A um, couple modes here, uh, we have auto turn, which uh, works in conjunction with your autopilot. Um, basically what it does is it automatically turns the nose of your aircraft to face your target. So that's fairly useful. Uh, it just keeps, your, keeps you from having to focus on rudder inputs and allows you to uh, focus in on your TV screen and, and using your weapon systems. <coughs> we also have uh, some different air-to-air -air modes. We have moving ground target mode, which is for moving vehicles. It allows your cannon to lead moving vehicles, basically. Um, here's our cannon selector switch. Uh, there's a few different modes here. Um, the main two you're going to use are move and fixed. Fixed just means that the, uh, the cannon um, is on a movable mount here. If I show it to you on the outside. It's a 30 millimeter cannon. It's the same cannon that's in a BMP uh, armored vehicle, so it's a pretty heavy duty weapon. Um, it's on a flexible mount on the right side. And when we're in move mode, the cannon will move automatically to aim at whatever you have, whatever target you have selected. When it's in fixed mode, it'll just stay fixed like a World War II plane, and, and you can just uh, do strafing runs that way. Um, but the cannon won't automatically move for you when you have it in fixed mode. These other three modes are fail safes um, for when your aircraft's hit for the most part. Um, not going to go over those. Uh, a couple other buttons down here. Uh, LAS is our laser designator. We're, we're going to want to turn that on. AT is auto track. Um, whenever you lock up a target, uh, it will automatically track it um, and stay locked onto it. It'll also ground stabilize uh, your pepper, you're going to want to have auto track on. And then this other switch here is your helmet mounted sight. When I hit this, you'll see I get this big yellow pepper on my screen that follows me wherever I look. Um, it's just a helmet, helmet sight, and we'll use that to uh, acquire targets. So we'll go ahead and move up here. Um, for the avionics stuff, you can go ahead and look at the manual. I'm not going to go over these. Um, but here we have our master arm panel. Go ahead and turn on our master arm for our rockets and missiles, and then for our cannon. Um, you select weapons on this by selecting either inboard or outboard weapons, or cannon. So um, the terminology here, store, is what weapon you have selected. So NC um, stands for our Vickers missiles. And then on our inboard, we have HP for our rockets. Um, remain is how many rockets or missiles we have remaining. So when I switch between rockets and missiles, you can see we have 12 missiles and 40 rockets. And then RNDS is how many rounds we have in our cannon um, in hundreds. So we have 240 cannon rounds of HE type, because down below here, um, we can select HE or incendiary rounds. You can see you have 220 armor piercing incendiary and 240 HE rounds. Um, these circles are for your, uh, well, these red switches are all for your weapon jettison. Um, you just hold that down and you'll drop your weapon stores. Um, high and low is the fire rate of your cannon, um, either a low rate of fire or a high rate of fire. Um, and then this switch here is for rockets. Uh, you can either do uh, pairs, 
or medium or long rocket bursts. Um, up here is our TV screen. Uh, that's where we'll see our targets when we have them locked. Um, then we've got our navigation screen. We just hit NAV. You can see we've got uh, a green line between waypoints. We only have one waypoint. Um, and then this little red airplane is us. Go ahead and select waypoint one on here. You just hit uh, waypoint and then the uh, number of that you're going for. Um, we only have one waypoint, so waypoint one is the one. Uh, you can do a lot with this panel. Um, I'm not really going to go over it, but I mean you can send uh, coordinates and target information to other KA50s with it. Uh, but that's a little too advanced for this tutorial. Um, we can ignore this guy here, uh, but this panel here is fairly important. Um, if you're a wingman or commander, you're going to select either COM or WINGM for wingman. Um, we're the commander, we're the only K50 here, so we'll just select commander. But um, you'll also select the number you are in your flight. And if you do that properly in multiplayer or with another K50, you'll actually see them on your map screen, which is fairly useful for knowing where your friendlies are. Below that designator, we've got our um, autopilot panel. Uh, by default, when the computer starts up your aircraft, um, it'll have bank, pitch, and heading altitude activated. The way to think about autopilot is it's kind of a dampering system for your flight controls. Um, it doesn't completely take over your inputs, it just dampens them and tries to main, the aircraft will automatically try to maintain either the pitch, heading, or bank that you set for it. Um, you can fly with these on, no problem. It makes flying a, a lot easier. Um, but it, it's fairly useful. You'll want to put this on a test because you use it quite a bit. Um, this other section here is for, you can use different modes. You can like, use barometric pressure to measure uh, altitude and, and you can even get this aircraft to fly your waypoints automatically for you, which that's a little advanced. I'm going to leave that alone. Um, if we look up on the right top side, we've got our countermeasure panel. Um, right now you can see it's off. The computer does not turn this on automatically. We have to look over our right shoulder here behind the seat and you'll see this UV26 panel. It's OPER for operational. We want to turn it on. And if we look back over, see our countermeasure panel is on. Um, 64 is the number of flares. You can select what side you shoot flares on, or just select both. You fire flares by hitting the big red button that says start. You can program different uh, flare sequences if you want. It's pretty easy just to uh, shoot them off individually though. Um, you'll want to bind that to HOTAS as well so that uh, you don't have to try and hit that red button when you have missiles flying at you. It's a little bit difficult. So that's everything in the cockpit. Um, we'll go ahead and take off and go kill things.